Hey YouTube friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tasha and on this channel I talk about my budgeting and debt-free journey. So in this week's video we're going to be cash stuffing some of my savings challenges and I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been subscribing lately. Um, there's quite a lot of you that have recently joined me on my journey so thank you so much and I appreciate you guys being here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do before I cash stuff some of this money is unstuff the money that I completed from my two savings challenges so dice dice baby and sea creature bingo um I completed both of them and this money is going towards my holiday spending so I go I go on holiday next month um all right I think I'll swap out these two fives for a tenner so now in my holiday spending, uh, we've got 200 in the bank and then 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 817 pounds. And what I'm going to be doing is taking out at least changing out at least 100 pounds into euros. So that should give me about 800 euros. Um, and then the rest I'm just going to leave, um, you know, for using towards like transport to get to the airport. I think I'm going to drive and park my car there. So I'm going to use some of that money to pay for parking. Um, so that is my holiday spending fully funded. I'm going to take some of it out as cash and then leave some of it in my Stelling account so that I can pay using my card um, just because I don't want to take too many euros and have to bring them all back and then have to do the hassle of exchanging them. So if I can have some euros in cash and then some in my bank, that's the plan. So these two challenges are going to get retired for now, but the most likely I will bring them back because I have thoroughly enjoyed um, using them. And then what I'm also going to do is unstuff my 250 binder. Um, so I will be going um, to the post office after I finish filming this video to take this money back and, and deposit into my account so that I can make the extra payments towards my um, Peloton bike, and then I can restart saving the next 250. Um, I didn't want to stuff this money because I absolutely like looking at it um, in this binder and flicking through it. It's, it just looks very nice and so pretty, but um, this money has a purpose and its purpose is to pay off my debts. And I, I do love like saving 250 at a, at a go because it doesn't seem like a lot. But, you know, the little that you save, the £10 here, £20 there, that does add up quite a lot. And before you know it, you've saved 250 Um, Ideally, I would like to save 250 like, every month. But I think that might be pushing it with some of the goals that I have. So maybe I might aim to complete this binder every other month. So we'll see if I can make that work. But um, I have so many challenges that I want to complete. And I'm just realizing that there's just not enough money to go around for all of them. So I'm thinking of condensing my challenges and just having um, like my pink binder be my main challenges binder. And then if I, once I complete a binder, I can introduce a new one. Um, and then when I think when I have extra money, which I do have this month, um, I've got extra money that's, that's left over. I'm thinking I might let that spill out into my green binder and then if there's any money left over then I might move that over to my blue binder okay so that's the 250 fully unstuffed and ready to be used again so we're going to be cash stuffing um at least 140 pounds into um, some of my challenges and the first thing I'm going to do is do another round of knockout nine um, just because you know why not um hopefully since I gambled the first one using my 
um, food shopping money, hopefully this next line, I won't have to pay quite a lot. All right, so five and three, that's eight. So it's off to a, off to a good start knocking up the big numbers. All right, four and five, that's nine, another big number. Three and one, that's four. Four and four, that is eight. And let's see, which one shall I do? Seven and one, five and three, or six and two? Uh, let's try the seven and one. Four and two, that is six. Ah, another eight. Uh, oh, I can do the five and three. That's eight. No way, I guess, me guys. <laughs> so close. Two and one, that's three. So that means I'm saving two pounds out of this line. Um, why did this happen when I was rolling for my for my grocery money but it's okay so two pounds gone into there do i risk it and play another line i mean next week is do i risk it no i'll leave it i'll leave it and play another line yeah i'll leave it and play another line next week Let's not get too greedy. <laughs> it might all blow up in my face. All right, we'll leave, we'll leave that round for now. Um, in my self-care fund, uh, let's see. Let's, let's do one, two, three, four. Let's put, put an extra four in here. So I'm using these free mini challenges um, to save towards self-care because I hardly ever um, save money towards self-care really. All right, so my penny challenge, the next line is 371 and I round up these. Um, just because like um, anything that's under a pound, I put it in a in a jar. So I'm gonna round this up and put four pounds. Um, I am saving this money um, in a tin. So usually when I cash stuff, I put it in here and then I'll transfer it. Once I'm done, uh, we'll do snakes and ladders first. So last time I ended up on this four. So let's. a dice and I think I might do 20 pounds into this challenge so four that is one two three four that's eight let me make a note of that okay so we have eight then three one two three that's 14 Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is eight, which is 22. And I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, I'll just put a little dot so I know that that's the last time where I stopped. So 22 pounds needs to go into this challenge and... I need coins. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, forgot to put the tracker back. So by starting at the bottom, actually, so the way I 
worked it is if I start on this end and then go up this way uh wait yeah if we go up this way it means I'll end end at that too by starting on this end I'll end on that side um rather than ending on this side which means the game never ends because you'll keep going down the snake um all right so we have saved the color I'll be doing this one for the very first time and what you have is you get this color dice and then you roll a die so the dice will tell me what set I need to save from and then the color will tell me how much from that set am I saving all right so set one blue is three So that's three pounds in. I feel like I should do this again. Yeah, let's, let's, let's roll again. All right, set for purple. That is 22, which means 25 in total. So that is save the color that's from budget with Shay on etsy and then the five and ten challenge this is from um budget with paired and i think what i'll do is just save the roll up ones and then i've got three challenges from budget with paired um i think i'm just gonna roll the color once and then just save across all three so the five and ten blue is ten Ten pounds going into that challenge, All right? And then on the carnival one, blue is twenty. So that's twenty pounds into that one, and then on the twist and save, blue is ten. So the first time I'm doing the twist and save. Okay. All right, so that still leaves me with 43 pounds. I'm gonna go into my pink binder. Hmm, six and four. Actually, I, I will finish this challenge off and put £10 in here. So £10 in to roll it up, which should mean... So that means another 25 crossed off. That should mean I should have 75 pounds in here. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75. So I'm 25 away from my first 100. I do love this challenge. It's such an easy challenge to do. And then I'm going to come to my 25 week challenge. I'm going to put £10 and no, I can't do £10. I can only do, all right, let's swap out some of this money. Right, so if I put five in here, right, I'll 
put this one to the side to dry. And then if I come to my 33 week one, so I condensed some of the numbers and then knocked off some bigger ones. So if I do one and two, that's three. And the remaining money is going to go into my 52 week one because I can cross out a bigger number. So I've got 25 pounds left and I do have the number 25 available. So I'll do this 25 here. And this 52 week challenge, I'm saving it in a jar. So that's 25 that's gone in. And since I completed two challenges, I've introduced a scratch off savings challenge. This is from Budget with Ira. So this one will save 500 pounds. And I think I will start this off with my main paycheck because I have no idea how many, how what, what the biggest number is on this challenge. Um, so I think I'm just gonna budget out like a hundred pounds for this scratch off and then what, whatever money that is left over from there, I'll then use it to stuff some of the other sinking funds. But yeah, thought I'd introduce a new challenge. So that's, all my challenges um, stuffed for the week and then I'll be taking this money uh, from the 250 savings challenge back to the bank today. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye!